So here is some process in your moving boundary work where the first one you have constant volume and when you apply your first law so finally you will get this one and this is the final equation and for the case of constant pressure the graph will be plotted like this where you have expansion in this way it means expansion because your volume is added, uh, your volume increase and what happened to your moving boundary work is going to be constant P times with your change of volume and number three you are going to have a constant temperature over here where in this graph it is a constant pressure sorry it is a compression process at a constant temperature so you are going to have a pressure difference over here as well as your volume difference so this is the equation that is going to be involved if you are solving for uh, ideal gas type of working fluid so you are going to use this ideal gas equation if you are solving for your um, vapor which is water or refrigerant so you can use of this one your volume can be found from this uh, specific volume inside your table and then we have the polytropic process which is your pvn is constant and the equation used is this one and if you are dealing with ideal gas you are going to have temperature difference over here and finally it is about adiabatic process where in this process the working substance or the working fluid does not receive or gives up any heat the perfect example of this thing is your thermos thermos bottle all right so if you are dealing with your vapor or refrigerant or water type so you are going to use this equation and if you are dealing with your ideal gas this equation will be used so in next video i will show you an example on how to solve uh, this type of questions thank you